This is Craig Marker. Today we're going to be talking about Verkoshansky depth jumps or shock jumps and overspeed eccentric kettlebell swings. So Verkoshansky came up with this very innovative method in training the Soviet athletes and with this method he had people jump down from a box that's about 32 inches tall, land, absorb the shock and immediately jump as high as possible. So the landing was very quick and just a quick uh, reflex back up. So these are great for increasing strength and explosiveness. The problem is, is that for, some, for many people, it's hard to land from that high of a jump uh, in a proper form. So when, if you're landing and if your ankles go in or you've got compromised knees, that can be very tough on the body. So I would, if you're going to do Verkoshansky depth jumps, I would recommend having a really good squat form, being able to get into that form very quickly, and then also being able to squat at least 1.5 times your body weight. Um, a safer alternative would be kettlebell swings. If we think about that movement, landing, absorbing a shock is very similar to what we're doing with the kettlebell swing. We're absorbing the shock in the bottom and then reversing direction. The only difference is, is that we're not landing. So we can get in a good position, get our, our feet and our knees in a good position to absorb that shock. So it's a little bit easier to do uh, that type of movement with a kettlebell swing. So a normal kettlebell swing, we swing, the kettlebell floats up, and then it starts to float back down, we absorb the shock and return it. We can enhance this a little bit by throwing the kettlebell back down or, or taking that eccentric motion and making it faster. So an overspeed eccentric. So there are three ways we can do this. The first way is I can just do my swing and throw it down myself. So let me demonstrate a few of these. And I'll do here's some regular swings with a float. And then some overspeed. So the first three or four I did were regular swings that floated up, and then I let it just fall back down. The last two or three I did, it would float. I throw it back down, reverse, let it float, throw it back down. So that's one way we can do this. Second way is to get a partner and have the partner kind of catch it up here, throw it back down. So we could have a partner assisted version. Third way we could do it is to grab a band and we simply put the band through, loop it around. And I'll just put my feet on top of the back of the band. So those are overspeed eccentrics with the, the band. Um, I think these are a great alternative to Verkoshansky depth jumps.